Hi everybody, it's Janet with Fruit of the Vine Art Studio here. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful Saturday before the 4th of July. This morning in our kids club, this is what we did. One of the 4th of July art kit paintings. Isn't that adorable? We had such a good time painting that. That, that, that is so simple to paint. Today, I'm going to show you how to paint one of my 4th of July art kits. We're going to do the Patriotic Eagle. Isn't that beautiful? It's going to look so cool when we get it done. So I'm going to tilt you down and we're going to go ahead and get started. Let me just get this out of the way real quick. And tilt you down and zoom you in a little bit. Yep. Now I just have to adjust where I am to make sure that we're getting it all on the camera. Yeah, let's get this down just a little bit further. Because I would much rather that you see the painting than the top of my head while I'm talking and painting with you. Okay, so there we go. Now I think that's a pretty good view for you right there. There we go. And let me see if I can pull it up on the computer here. Just one moment, and that way when you hop on, I would love it if you would say, hey, and tell me where you're watching from. I'd really appreciate it. Sometimes, sometimes it's so odd how Facebook doesn't show the comments. They'll either show it on the computer or they'll show it on the phone. Either way, I have to look in different areas just to find what's going on. There we go. There's the live as it's happening right now. That's what I wanted to see. <laughs> what is the thought to that? There we go. Okay, so what colors will we be using today? This is a very simple painting. We're going to be using red, white, blue, black, a little bit of yellow, and a very small amount of nutmeg brown. I'm just going to wipe that off. And pour a tiny bit of paint, or water, I'm sorry, a lot of, a tiny bit of water into this cup so that I've got one for rinsing and one for fresh water to start with. Put those right over there. Okay, so for this particular painting, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start with working some of the white, which I know will seem kind of redundant because you won't really see what I'm doing, but it will show up and it'll help make it pop when we start working on getting to that black background. So to start with, I'm just going to do this eagle head right here in white. So that it's got a nice base coat on it. I'm not worried about these lines showing through in the least. I hope you guys are ready for the fourth. I've got some big plans going on or anything. If you do, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you're doing in the fourth. We have so many different fireworks going on here in Cincinnati that you've got choices that we can go to tonight on Saturday. Many more choices for tomorrow on Sunday and then again on Monday. So there's so many different areas around here for you to see fireworks. There's really not a reason to not see some unless, of course, you can't get out. And even in that case, they broadcast them here on the television. So you can always enjoy beautiful fireworks here in Cincinnati. We have a, a family called Rosie Family here that supplies the fireworks for the EBN fireworks and for most of the fireworks that go on around this area and they are a fantastic group I'll tell you they have wonderful wonderful fireworks they put on our WEBN fireworks every uh, Labor Day plus they do our 4th of July for fireworks also and they are also I think they do the uh, red white and boom out in Loveland they are they're all over this area very well known. Now for these two particular ones, this small one here and this small one here are both going to be white as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put the white on those while I'm messing around with the white. And I'm not, like I said before, I am not concerned with it being on the outside of the lines at all. The background is going to be black and I will firm it up and cover over everything as we progress. This one right here is the white, and this one over here is going to be white. 
the bigger ones are going to be the red and the blue. Okay. Just pull that right down into here. Using that white. All right. And now we've got the white base on there. That's basically all we're going to be doing with white in this until we start putting the stars in the sky. So we can go ahead and rinse our brush. And we're going to get out a little bit of the nutmeg and a little bit of the yellow to finish up the bird. Okay, so now working with the yellow, I'm going to do the beak. Just going to color the whole beak with this primary yellow. Even our, um, we've got a, like a little local air, uh, roller coaster type roller coaster amusement park that has like a cute little roller coaster. Uh, it's called Stricker's Grove that's on this side of town, on the west side of town. It's a little amusement park. And Stricker's Grove is open to the public this weekend also. I learned something new about Stricker's Grove this week watching um, our local news that I didn't know. You know, Stricker's Grove, is, it's local, and it's been around since the 70s. And we've taken our kids there numerous times, and they've always loved going there. I'm going to get me just a little bit of the nutmeg and mix it in with the yellow. Just a very, very small amount of nutmeg and mix it into the yellow. Very, very small amount. And I'm just going to take some of that and just go... the outer line, you know just sort of like outline it and leave some of the bright yellow right in the middle but put some of this painted yellow <laughs> golden yellow just around like that and then I'm going to use the same color and I'm going to build the base for the eagle's body and if I get out of the lines I'm not going to worry about that either and why because I'm going to paint the background with black. So I can kind of be a bit of a sloppy painter here, and it's not going to hurt anything. Hmm. Now that's got a little bit of another color mixed in there with it, doesn't it? That's all right. I'll just get some more of the yellow and a little bit more of this nutmeg mixed together real quick. because this is just going to be a base underneath it anyway, so I'm not too concerned with this coloring. I didn't get out much yellow, so I'm stretching what I've got here. Just so that I've got a little bit of a background area for it. Could just break down and get out more yellow, couldn't I? <laughs> nope. Don't worry, it's all going to work out fine. Hey, Gina. How you doing today? Is it raining down there in Indiana yet? I know they said it was going to be like in and out, in and out. I'm going to get just a little more yellow. Yep, I broke down and got just a little more yellow out. 
It started this morning up here. We had rain this morning. It's been one of them crazy kind of days around here. Last night, after we went to bed, some person come flying down the street and around the bend, and I think my car is totaled at this point. Um, they hit my car last night, hit it hard enough to, from my understanding, peel the peel the body off of the side of it all the way down the side and hit it hard enough to slam into my husband's truck behind it and knock the bumper off of his truck. So my car has been towed away and from the looks of it, it's probably never going to come back home. <laughs> Which I'm telling you guys, it's just like, I, it wasn't that long ago that poor car got hit out there and the, uh, driver's back side door the, the uh, it's a sedan it's got four doors but the behind the driver that door was hit and was messed up and that just got fixed not that long ago and now here we go again except it's the whole side the whole driver's side it was hit head on from the front and all the way down the side so smashed it up really good gonna have to get me another vehicle now Okay, so now we've got that yellow base coat on there, and I'm just going to start using some of the nutmeg and mixing it with the yellow. And I'm going to work from the bottom. Working my way up, using a little brown and yellow mixed together. giving it a textured look doing this. Just letting the two colors blend themselves on the paint, or on the, on the canvas, I'm sorry, not on the paint, on the canvas. Allowing these two colors to just blend together. Using a little brown, using a little yellow. Both of them are on there together. Just putting it down. Letting it mix itself together, giving little wing appearances. Oop, I need a little more yellow in that one. Just kind of basically mushing it is what I'm doing. I'm just mushing it on there. Add a little more yellow into that. Give me a little touch of the nutmeg now. Just working that right around there. Kind of like a mess. It's kind of how it looks. Kind of like a mess. And then here we're going to work on doing a little bit of the same. Give me a little bit of the nutmeg. Start working it in. Flip it over. Add a little yellow. A little more of the dark nutmeg. Crossed. Touch of the yellow, flip it over, dabble that in there. Now I'm going to have to outline it, of course, so that we'll be able to see his wing area better. I'm still able to see the lines that I've painted. A 
it's the yellow and the brown is what I'm doing. I'm just basically putting down a base of the brown now. Still leaving a little bit of that bottom color to show through. Not worried about covering everything. bit of yellow to the top of it. Gives him a nice mottled color. And then we'll go back and work on that edging around his neck again with some black. Bits of yellow in there is really what I'm doing at this point. Just adding little bits of yellow in. Okay, and then we got to work on this wing over here. Picking that up. Now that we're not going to add much yellow to it. Any, I'm going to leave it kind of just like that since it's sort of in the background behind him. So you can kind of see it's kind of just mottled looking, but we'll add outline to that and that's going to bring it all together. So now I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to rinse this off. I'm going to move into my red and I'm going to work on this one right here. And I got too much paint. Let me get that off. There we go. Spikes in. Straight up through there. Cross through here. Just kind of working it around in a circle, dragging that paint that I've already got on this canvas. Pulling it out. And I'm not worrying about that getting out of the lines either because all of this background is going to be black. And it'll cover over anything that's out of the line. So I don't have to worry about that. And let's see, I think it's... This one right here that's red. If not, it doesn't matter. You can color them any color you want to. I'm going to make this one red. Oh, much too big a glob. Smear that around over here a little bit. I'm using paint that I've had out for a couple of hours. I've been painting all morning, and the paint's starting, they got the air conditioner on at the same time, and the air is starting to thicken my paint, make it thick. So when I go to reach into it, I'm planning on getting just a little bit, but I'm getting kind of a glob because it's all drying up. But I don't want to just not use that paint. It's still good paint, and it's still going to be able to do this canvas. I just have to spread it around. Maybe add a little water to it might help me out. That'd be the thing to do. But that's all the red I'm going to use anyway. That's what we got going right here. Right around his beak here. Same colors that I used for the kids club this morning, except we didn't have any brown or yellow. I should have had the yellow out for the design, but we forgot it. So we made do and did purple stems to hold up the, uh, to be the uh, stakes for the fireworks on our painting. Okay, that looks good, just like that. 
Now we're gonna rinse our brush and we're gonna use the blue. Rinse that off, I'm gonna have to add some water to the blue. Bend that down. Okay, that looks pretty good. At least looks a little better than that chunky red did. Let's see. Mm, that might be a little too much water. We'll see. That's the thing about acrylics. You can just add you some water and thin them down. Try not to add too much, though, or you can make them way too thin. Actually, if you thin them down enough, it's like working with watercolors. You can make watercolors, basically, because, you know, I mean, acrylic paint is water-based. And it will have the same consistency as a watercolor if you add enough water to it. Just filling in this big firework right here behind the eagle. Right up right there. Just kind of working around in a circle, pulling from the middle out into the spikes. As you can see. <laughs> and now we'll try to make this a little right up to there. Okay. And then this one right here is going to be blue also. Go across. in real easy. Like I was saying, I hope you have some plans for the 4th. There's so much going on around here. You should certainly be able to find somewhere to go see some fireworks. I know even down in Indiana, there's um, Aurora tonight and Rising Sun. They both have fireworks going on tonight. There's a few things going on. I can't remember where they were in Kentucky tonight. I believe we have fireworks at Sawyer Point tonight in Cincinnati. Okay, let me rinse this off and I'm going to take just a little bit of white. Oh, wait a minute. I see I just missed a spot in the red. You probably saw that. Why didn't you tell me, guys? <laughs> hey, Buck. Yeah, I'm telling you. It's just crazy here. People just, it's, you know, when your doorbell rings at 1230 at night, it's never a good thing. It's never a good thing. And it's like, dang, man, there's my car again. There goes my poor car. And Steve's bumper came off. But, you know, all of that will get fixed. Luckily, I have full coverage. So, everything will get fixed. Just unfortunate that it had to happen again. Especially so soon since just getting the door fixed. <laughs> you know. Every time you're a little, a bit, a little bit ahead, just forget about it. You'll be a little ahead. <laughs> Something going to happen. No, that's not true. That's not true. It's just an unfortunate thing that happened. Definitely unfortunate. I'm just putting a little more white in a couple of spots here where the brown got a little bit out of the out of the lines. That's what I said. Anytime you make a mistake, just wait a second, let it dry. Paint over top of it. It won't hurt anything. You can fix the mistake. A little bit of paint. There you go. All right. Now let's say I need to put a little bit of black in his eye here. Let me rinse this off. I'm using this on the side of this brush. Yeah, 
There we go. Fill in that eyeball. Now. Now we're ready to start working on the background. So I'm just going to start using the black to just go around this outside edge here. I am going to outline this bird once he dries. Let me turn this around. So, what does this say? So, Buck, I heard you was going to West Virginia. You're not going this weekend? I thought you were going up for the 4th. That's what I was... I, I thought I heard that you were going up for the 4th. Or are you just going up later on today? We had talked about it. But with what the weather looks like it's going to be, you just don't know. So, we decided we'd stay home this weekend. It is a three-day weekend for me. But we decided we'd just stay home. We've been up there you know, vacationing, and I haven't, um, haven't had a chance to be live with you guys in so long. It was sort of, I felt like I was neglecting y'all, uh, you know, being home. But vacation was so nice. I so enjoyed it. We had a great time. It was so nice to get away. The weather was so beautiful, although I heard it was absolutely beautiful here, too. So, but I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not angry. I'm glad everybody had good weather. It was so nice up there, so pleasant. We were sleeping with, I mean, in the morning it was so chilly, I'd have to get up and turn on an electric heater to keep me warm. But you know how that mountain air is in the country, fool. I'm telling you. You wake up, it's cool, cool out there. Love it. Okay, just fill that in a little bit. Get this around this corner, corner, ain't no corner, along this angle, <laughs> some days it's whatever, this spot, there we go, I'm glad y'all stopped by to uh, see me today, I love it. Love to see the folks out there with me. Hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. So I figured, Jeannie, you guys going down to the Rising Sun for the fireworks? Figured you'd be down there. I'm assuming it's going to be, you know, I, I think at the casino maybe. I'm not sure. It might be at the River Park, I think, maybe. I'm not sure. I know it's all down there, though. All down in Rising Sun, and then there's one in Aurora. I even think Lawrenceburg is having fireworks tonight, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe they're tomorrow night. I know there's like three nights in a row of fireworks here. So, lots and lots of places and lots of things to see. This is going much quicker than what we did in the kids club this morning. Maybe I should have done this design with them. This is a much easier design. We did this fireworks, which looked simple, but really it was pretty detailed when it came down to it. <coughs> I can't wait to see what the kids did, though. I want to see theirs, too. If they post how the kids club works, as you know, we are virtual. It's an online kids club, and... You can go along with me. There's guides in the club itself that you can check and see what needs to be done and how to do it. You can do it, post a picture of whatever the creating uh, craft was, the project was. And when you post your picture, you get entered into our monthly contest every month. Out of all the pictures that were submitted, we have a drawing. And uh, the winner gets a, a fun little happy mail gift. So the kids generally will do whatever the projects are, and then they will post pictures of it, and at the beginning of the next month, your name goes on the big wheel, and the wheel spins, and one of the paintings gets picked as the winner. So that keeps everybody excited, and hopefully it makes them um, more inclined to want to practice art on a daily basis. And that's really the purpose of it. 
you, you know, you think about it, art is therapy. Kids need time to focus and concentrate, and it helps you relax. There's lots and lots of reasons to get out your paints, get out your, get out your markers, get out your art supplies, and just enjoy yourself. Kids need that too. A lot of times with school nowadays, arts and, and musics and things like that, things like that are, are getting cut out of the curriculum due to restrictions and needs for other academics, which is understandable, I know, but really art and music is very important for children. And if you can't get it at school, then you as the parent should be trying to find a way to ensure that your child has the opportunity to learn and grow. I'm just bringing this right across the top here. Bring it in a little further, right like that. And I've got to divide these two right here, so I'm going to just sort of very lightly bring this down in between there. There, that, that's kind of getting the chiseled edge that I'm looking for, but I'm, there we go, that worked. That worked. Okay. right in here. Just pulling this through. Ooh, I kind of cut that little chunk off. That's all right. I'm not even going to worry about it. It can just be sparking that way instead. Huh. Whatever. It all works. It all works. Just kind of get this in here. There, that worked. I was thinking maybe I'm going to have to get some water on this black, thin it down some, and I don't really want to do that, though. Because when you thin down black too much and it dries, it really looks bad on the canvas. Anybody had made a comment and I had missed out. Doesn't look like it though. So I'm just going to keep painting here. Get this to spread a little bit right here. I may have to get just drop more black out at maybe. enough to finish this top of the canvas. We'll see. We'll see what happens. This is getting drier down here at least. I'm going to be able to go finish the eagle. very shortly here. Where is the black? Here it is. Just gonna go ahead and get it out. Why keep why keep scrimping there? Just get some black. Okay, I'm just 
gonna work this real quick down in between these little spike areas here. There. Now I am going to make those show up a little bit better. That blue is sort of dark in there. It sort of loses itself in that black background. It'll make the white pop though. <laughs> that white's going to pop. We'll just bring this in like this more. More of a point there so that it doesn't look so obvious that I chopped off a piece of it. <laughs> but like I said, there's no mistakes. It doesn't have to be there. That was just an extra piece that didn't be, wasn't, in, wasn't necessary. It worked itself out. I'm always so thankful for a three-day weekend. Not that my art stops. There's never a three-day weekend when it comes to that. You just keep going. That gives me more time to work on my art, honestly. And if you guys notice, I got the July art kits posted. Not just these 4th of July kits. Yeah, these are just for the 4th. I realize that some folks have ordered and they will be there a little after the 4th, but I know that's okay. But I do have July kits also. There's mermaids and octopuses' gardens and all kinds of fun stuff. So if you haven't seen them, just go check the top of the page. They've changed the pages, though, and the page is so much different. I'm having such a such a time trying to find things there it's it's amazing how different it is if you don't see reels for a little bit i'm having trouble even trying to figure out how to do the reels where they're at it, it like when they changed our pages they updated the pages it uh moved things around and although i've watched their little video i still haven't figured out everything yet there's some stuff that's really quite different and i'm still trying to figure it out and Yesterday, I couldn't find anywhere to make the reel until almost midnight. So, if you don't see reels for a little bit, it might be because things are just moving and I haven't had the opportunity to get it straightened out yet. Oh, and I do want to say thank you, thank you to... Katie, for the stars that she sent, I am going to be making a $250 donation to Shriners for those stars. I truly, truly appreciate that. You do not know that by just releasing those stars, what that did. And it is so appreciated. So, so appreciated. I'm going to pay it forward for what they've done for our family by making a $250 donation to the Shriners. So thank you, thank you, Katie. Your generosity helps me provide and pay it forward. Okay, we're getting this fella done, aren't we? He looks good. I like it. Hello. All right, we're just going to bring this around right here. Get 
like this up in the corner. I had paint all over my shirt earlier. I had to go wash it off. Looks like a spot right there, too. I'm getting sloppy with my paints. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is where it needs to be, like, where I could fast forward this for you guys. I can't paint any quicker. I'm trying. Maybe I need a big brush, and then I could just cover big areas real quick. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Let's work this down the side real fast. Trying to get it off of the ferrule there. I'm going to have to get a little more black out. Not much. Turn this a little bit and work this where I got this extra paint right there. Turn it a little bit and work it this way. There we go. Right around the outside of this little white one. see some white through right there where that black's not thick enough. Okay. Now we're getting into the little spots. We gotta work a little bit slower. So that you're not just making yourself more more work. corner right there. Here. Kind of curve that a little better right there. Curve that just a little bit better. There we go. Let's 
good. This side's dry, and I can put my hand up on it, and I feel like I'm going to be smearing a bunch of stuff. Kind of taking my brush and just swirling it around very small, pushing forward to fill in that little gap right there. Spike coming down. Right around through here. Just sort of taking it and pushing it forward like I was done. Moving it around a little bit. Just pushing the paint. Just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to be turning this so that I can get these little spikes in the blue. Try not to mess them up. way a little bit. And you'll see as it dries, you'll see little white spots where the black is not on thick enough. Just touch that up. about ready to go kayaking y'all I'm telling you I haven't had a chance to get out on the water this year and I'm so ready every time we've been down to go think about even going get down there and the water's too high there's electric lines in the water always something going on it's like well geez and then we were on vacation so that kept us from going too and I'm ready of course, I'm not ready if there's electric lines anywhere in the water. <laughs> My brother and nephew and his friend went that day. And there was all kinds of uh, issues going on down there with that. Like three different feeder lines of electricity or something in the water. How scary. How scary. Bring this right across the bottom here. Right up in here. Okay. Now I'm going to take this black and I'm just going to Bring it right down along his chest area here. Outline that. Right here. Very small little strokes and sort of just the tip of it, corner of it. It's going to bring it right here. Right there.
okay right across the top of his shoulder here let me turn it this way instead bringing it around the edge of the shoulder. Okay, so now we've got that part of it done. I just need to put a little white dot in the middle of the eye here, and I'm going to do an outline of that, but I'm going to use my pen to do this. So I'm going to rinse this off real quick. I'm going to get my pen. Darken these lines up some using the black pen. This is a black acrylic paint marker. It's black acrylic paint in a pen. take rinse this out real well I'm going to take just the tiniest bit of white and mix it with some red and make a lighter red Too pink, but I want it to just be a lighter looking red. Okay. Get too much white in that spot right there. Let me just kind of stir this up a little. Okay. That looks light enough for me. See what I did? Okay, so take your towel, dip it in the water, squeeze it off. Get this off of there. Do it immediately, you pretty well can get rid of all of it. There we go. The mistake is gone. Simple enough. Now I'm going to take this lighter color and just kind of put it here in the middle. It doesn't really show for you, I know. but it does on the painting itself. It's just a lighter color of that red. It'll sort of give it a sort of a two-toned look to it here. Lighten it up just a little bit. Same with the blue. Get me just a little bit of the white, mix it with the blue. Lighten that blue up just some. And then just kind of put it here in the middle.
just lightening this up a little in the middle. This one. Just a little bit from the middle out. I need a little more of the lighter color of the what of the red to make that show better. That made the blue show up much better. Let me try this. a little better if I get that lighter pink color in there just to brighten that up Let me get a little more of that for this one over here just sort of made a little spot in the middle and I'm just dragging it out from the middle out each of the spikes. There we go. That helps that. Burn it up just a little bit. went over the edge just a smidge. Okay. Finishing touches. And we are done. One hour painting. Hey! Hi, Russ. How you doing? What is this? ODNR might be checking out registrations on kayaks and canoes on Whitewater this year. Yes, I was told that. We, uh, need to get ours taken care of that's for sure that's for sure we need to get our license uh, our registrations redone we're um and we're due for new ones this year just gonna add a little no i'm not that brush is getting too raggedy too raggedy no i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna go right back to the black right there and just touch that right back up Yeah, we got to get our boats taken care of this year so that we get an opportunity to get out there. Okay, now what I'm going to do, since we're at this point, all we need to do is add some stars in the sky and a little white dot into his eye. So I'm going to take the tip of my brush handle, put a dot right in his eye, put a few dots in the sky, Don't have to put thousands, we can just put some. Couple down here. Mm, doop, 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 doop. There we go, that's enough on that side. <clears throat> mm, 
Mm. Don't get the paint on there, right? And it doesn't make it round, does it? Rub that off. There we go. Do, 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 do. Bop, 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 bop. Bop. Here's some bigger stars over here. <laughs> That's it. From there, just gonna put my signature at the bottom. And we're gonna call it a done deal. There we go, guys. See how the eagle's feathers turned out once they dry? All that is is using the nutmeg and the little drops of the yellow right on top of it. I love how it turned out. I think it turned out great. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I also hope that you have a wonderful 4th of July. Oh, it's getting closer. There we go. Zoom that out. There we go. So, happy 4th of July, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I appreciate you being with me today. Just a couple of the things from the 4th of July kits that I offered this year. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. I'll see you again on Wednesday. Be the first vacation Bible school of this year. Join me.